yes guys in this video i'm going to show you how you can uh, remove password from any common phone this is common 12 c c7 it's, it's it's model which you can like search whenever you're going to flash it it's good to know the model of each phone whenever you want to flash it and know each each chipset whenever you want to download a file you know its version it's very easy when you're going to flash when you're in the field of flashing phones so just follow the steps along the way and see how you can remove frp from this phone without any problem using pandora tool it's very easy just when you follow the steps and you'll figure out how to know it and if you don't know how to use pandora there is another solution uh, follow along check out in these videos you'll see how you can use pandora to flash the phones so here i'm trying to open it and it's failing so you have to open again you cross the tool or sometimes i just restart my computer so that it can do do the work very well now you click once on pandora then you open it as an admin it's good to open it as an admin it's when it works well without showing the other complications which it was showing and wait for it to respond very well sometimes it takes long to open but you just be patient and keep on refreshing the computer yes now you can wait for it as it's opening now it's promising and it's checking the logins in your computer so as you can see now it's open now you click on the three dots on the left hand side and look for the motto of the phone which you want to flash you look for the brand and the right model of the phone please don't mistake in these things the moment you don't do it well it won't respond to your phone which you're going to flash you see you scroll down looking for the right model as you see it's cc7 taking no common 12 here you click select and click ok you wait for it to respond and bring the other interface which you'll be using to flash the phone select the brand and the model of the phone then you click select with that green tick now you see this interface when you see that this interface if you don't know how to use it there is another video how to use pandora all the setups and what you want to do if you want to format or to backup or to read the firmware or you'll find it from that video so let's continue with this one here at the moment we want to remove the frp now you look for where there is format and look for elise frp because we are removing only frp we don't need to flash the whole phone for the firmware you can select where the firewall is and flash but right now we are just removing the frp from this phone and another issue which i've tried to see on these phones sometimes when you are uh, flashing this phone the respondent keys sometimes they are quite different in different phones so you have to learn that before doing anything so that you don't mess up Pandora is kinda an easy software to use for, for real. Very easy. 
just plug in and press if the con the respondent keys doesn't respond well you open the phone and use the test points of the phone it becomes easier for you to flash any phone if the phone is not reading well you connect the pins the usb direct to the motherboard and transfer the files very fast and easy to use like in other phones as i've said it like for this you press two buttons some you press three some you press one for it to respond like now they are say waiting for the device to connect now you press the volume up you press the just two buttons you bring your usb to use you press volume up volume down then you put in the usb all together at the same time <laughs> volume up volume down then you put in the USB then the computer it will respond very well on this point you wait for the computer to respond as you see it's reading now all the content within the phone you wait for it to finish you just put the phone down sometimes it takes long you just have to be patient whenever you're doing software things As you see it's progressing very well and it's showing frp there is frp done when it's done what you do you just remove your usb and the, it doesn't sometimes reboot itself whenever it's finally fresh what you do uh, you have basically to first remove the usb from the phone from the computer and press power button to start the phone to see whether it it has worked or it's a good procedure and easy to follow just simple like that and boom it's done please subscribe this channel for more tech videos if you want to be helped out thank you